Yes, thank you. It's my first time to Prague, yeah. So it's an amazing city. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to introduce the, some product from ClickHouse. And uh, so I'd like to know who over here know what is ClickHouse. Yeah, it's, it's more than my expectation, yeah. Yeah, some of my colleague. Okay, so ClickHouse is a super, super fast overlap uh, circle engine. So CHDB is a blazing fast circle engine for data science. So, um, so little little about me, I'm I have some experience on recommendation system and also database, and and also I'm the technical director of Clayhouse core team now, and uh, also the former principal engineer at Shopee. Yeah, mainly doing some database for recommendation system, and also uh, really uh, open source enthusiastic. So, uh, contributed a lot of project, and uh, which I'm really honored is ClickHouse and the GMLog and the Kubernetes, like something like that. And so also, I'm a creator of CHDB, and also another another database like Common SQL. And you can find me there, Oxygen.com. And what is CHDB? So CHDB, as an official description, is an imprecise SQL overlap engine powered by ClickHouse. So what is imprecise? Let me uh, get it. Mm. So I already know, everyone know Postgres, but uh, CHDB is something like Postgres, but uh, we have no server. Mm. If it is like something like just a Python direct, 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 directory, no, but uh, we have some SQL support on it. So you can query, you can run circle on some query Python direct dictionary. And uh, if it's uh, something like SQLite, yeah, pretty close, but it's columnar database. As we know, SQLite is some row-based SQL based. And uh, so it's something like a marriage of ClickHouse and uh, Python. So the baby is HDB little shorter. Mm. Mm, there's an analogy in our company, so it's something like a rocky engine on your bicycle. Mm, uh, yeah, the Python is a bicycle. Yeah, in our country and Amsterdam, our development center, we like bicycle. We ride bicycle everywhere. But uh, as we know, yeah, if you ride a bicycle for a long time, it will be very tired, and it's not uh, as slow as you wish sometimes. So why not put a rocket engine on circle, on, on yeah, bicycle? <laughs> so, so it's, mm, yeah, it, it's serverless. So you do not need to run or install a ClickHouse server or something else to, to get the power of ClickHouse. And also, it's, it's ClickHouse inside. So all the ClickHouse function and formats we support. Mm. Also, yeah. It's a Python, so we support Python DB API 2.0. So I also data frame. We can run circle on data frame. Uh, I will explain later. And uh, also we can do something like stateful query with session. And uh, you can save your data and query on your data. And uh, you can also clean up your data with on, on exit. So, so the most thing I focus, yeah, is minimize the data copy from C++ to the library binding. So, um, yeah, we have a lot of binding. Yeah, I forgot to remove Go Rust. Yeah, it's a Python conference, yeah. Hmm. Okay, the, um, there's some article about the uh, project background. Yeah, mainly something about C++. I guess you may not got interested, so I could just put a link in case you are interested. Of course, it's Apache 2.0, so you can you can almost do whatever you want with it. Yeah. So the simplest architecture is something like that. You can import CHDB, you can CHDB dot query with some circle. So we will send circle to ClickHouse. He will do the heavy lift thing. So after it's done, we will get the result and give you on the Python side. So the result is here. Yeah, quite simple. Mm. Yeah, this is uh, my favorite. Mm. So, 
I guess, yeah, it's in process database, but uh, what can I do with it? Mm. So uh, something like uh, we just treat a lot of things, uh, almost everything as a table. Parquet, you can read Parquet and uh, treat it like table. Do not need to load it or just uh, insert it or something. Just a query and uh, put the path on it. And uh, CSV, of course, some CSV, TSV all go all goes right. Yeah, JSON, JSON, like some lot of JSON, like row, row JSON or JSON each row or some JSON with column, yeah, whatever. I don't know too much. And also, yeah, this is quite amazing, I think. Yeah, you can even query on a circle dump, a lot of insert, insert, insert. You can just query on the text file and without really insert it. And also, if you some da have data on, on HTTP or S3, even on HDFS, you can query it directly. You just uh, give me the pass. Yeah, pi reader. I will explain this later. This is quite uh, in interesting, yeah. Pi arrow. So we can query on pi arrow directly. And also data frame. We can run circle on data frame. Mm. And NumPy, of course. And MySQL, you can you can even connect to MySQL and treat treat it like a table in CHDB, and of course Postgres. Yeah, I don't know why Postgres is more famous. Yeah, more popular than MySQL now. Yeah, and also SQLite. This is my favorite SQLite. I almost uh, I do everything with SQLite. Yeah, we have it on CHDB and also more than eighty more formats. You can check it with the link. So let's do some code. And basically, you can query on some passing objects like that. Uh, import, so we always import pandas as PD, PR, as PA. So you can create a dictionary like A and with a list of some numeric value, and also with a B with some string. And you can just create, query it as a table. So as you can see, A is the column name, B is also the column name. Yeah, for now, you, you, you have to uh, give me a column name. And you can just query select B and some, some A from Python and the data. Data is a variable name and uh, do anything or aggregation, what you want, and show. Also, same, similar thing, you can put the data and create uh, some preview table. Also, a pandas data frame, and we can query it directly. Yeah, but yeah, I, I should make this small. Uh, only numerical and the string column is supported for now. Yeah, it's, it's on beta one. Mm. So if you create, give me some column type like with some dictionary column type or some order object, uh, yeah, we, we, we haven't supported. Mm. So I think th this is a quite interesting thing. So as we treat our lot of things as a table, so you can join all the table in one circle. Something like, yeah, uh, th this is a table from URL table engine. So this is some URL, and you can put uh, some some URL with parquet and uh, yeah, uh, name it a big table. Yeah, and uh, you can join some local files, some like CSV, and uh, this is so on big big. UID equals local CSV UID. And you can also join something like, uh, yeah, make uh, some pandas data frame as uh, also uh, the data part of the table. Just one circle, join them all, and it's all done. Uh, don't forget limit. You will get disaster, yeah. Mm. Mm. OK, this is my favorite part. Mm. Yeah, I, I just added uh, about five minutes ago, in case you like it. I don't know. Mm, you can create your own table engine in Python. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's oversimplified uh, uh, version of examples. But uh, yeah, mm, as you can create uh, some table engine, yeah, you, yeah it's, too, it's already very simple now. So you can cr create some class and uh, inherit the or uh, pure reader class and do some init or uh, so like you can set the cursor to zero. And you can implement the read function. Yeah, uh, you can return the column name I want and uh, also the count. 
And uh, so you can give me a data block in any format, like a list or some data frame. You can retain it. We can make it uh, as a table. Basically, you can define any logic in your Python code, and the ClickHouse will treat it like a table. So it's super fast, but yeah, not uh, very fast. Yeah, here is a man called Geo. Mm. Yeah, maybe, mm, I think uh, every, every man knows, yeah, something like Geo is pretty evil in Python, yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, I think uh, you can create your table engine. Yeah, that's how worth it. Mm, basically, yeah, I, and I have all the bindings like Python, blah blah blah. Yeah, you can now see, yeah, go long or what whatever. So, mm, and uh, yeah, you can almost run CGB anywhere, like something like. Uh, uh, there's uh, some story, yeah. I, I actually run my, run CHDB on some Raspberry Pi, and also I, some user just run CHDB on his Android phone. Yeah, pretty crazy. I don't know what, what he's doing. And also, you can put CHDB on some Lambda function. Yeah, mm, that, that's, uh, that's, that will create, create something uh, very, really interesting. So. You put your data on some object storage, and you put your compute computer engine onto Lambda. So when no query, so you can you can only pay for the S3 and object storage. No computer resource needed. So once you need query something, just call the Lambda function. Everything is done. It's it's fast. Hmm. Also, yeah, Jupyter notebook, Python, or mm, yeah. I am even trying to make it uh, run runnable on some chart GPT. Mm, yeah, a lot of database now, a lot of DB. So uh, when we when we seeing some DB, so you have the question: Is it fast? Yeah, everything. Everyone call is fast. So we have some benchmark. This is a website created by ClickHouse. Click name something like ClickBench. Basically, you can find every every famous or infamous DB on it. It's, there's a lot of benchmark and a lot of circle, very common circle. You can see how your database running and is it fast. You can check it. Basically, I just checked all the circle and parquet solution. So there's CDB, also the yeah, Clickhouse local and uh, something like Dark and Data Fusion, and we have some benchmark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at a first glance, we are the fastest. But uh, yeah, I have some note. Uh, DuckDB do not uh, op upload their C6A metal configuration, so uh, we, we don't know if it's uh, faster on the large machine. For now, we are the fastest, yeah. Mm. And also, yeah, this is some benchmark I did on data frame. And uh, just like the, the, the SQL here, and uh, I asked, uh, ChargeGPT to translate the circle into something like data frame, and like a, like pandas, yeah, it's so super super long lambda function. So as you can see, the mm, yeah, the benchmark here we are much faster, and the, from the total time we are four point six times faster, and uh, there are, mm, and for the whole uh, forty three queries. Uh, we are 33 faster, and the uh, pandas is faster for some 10 queries. And uh, you can see we are pretty stable on whatever SQL you, you just query. But not uh, for pandas. If you write some really, something really, really complex, pandas will slow down, yeah. Mm, and uh, yeah, if you make a data size large, the, the difference will be bigger. But uh, yeah, I just run it on the Colab notebook, so it can't be too large. Yeah, pandas cost a lot, a lot of memory. So if you have, say you, if you have some data, like some CSV or Parquet, you can qu query it directly. You do not need to load it as uh, something like pandas data frame, yeah. Mm, okay, but why? And I, I have been answering this question for about uh, four days. Hmm, but why? 
Yeah, mostly <laughs> because ClickHouse is fast. So, um, like this, yeah, a rock engine on some basic code. Mm. So, why CTB is fast? So, just make sure Python does not throw it down. So, the, the most thing I do is that hold this, hold the evil lock. You, this got the Python slower. So basically, yeah, maybe I need some explanation here or some grand interpreter log in Python. So basically, if you create something multi-thread multi in Python, actually it's run in parallel. Like, like something you one man can do, but you create uh, four or 10 man to do it. They have to do it in 10, it's slower. So uh, basically, you need to precise some data. You need to hold GL and uh, let the Python interpreter sleep, and uh, I will do the rest thing. So I need to run all the everything in C++ in parallel. Yeah, this is pretty much everything. Um, for example, uh, there are some string in Python, but uh, you may not know Python has a lot of in, in string encoding inside. There's a stream, but um, it might be some UTF-32 uh, or UTF-16 or UTF-8, whatever, but uh, Python will store it. But uh, when we query on some string column, we have to decode all the stuff, but uh, decode it without call any C Python stuff, because every, every time we call the C Python API, it will hold the GL, so everything will be single thread, even worse, yeah. So do it all with C++. This is what NumPy and uh, something like uh, MD code and a lot of things do. Mm. Okay, another question, but why ClickHouse is fast? Mm, this is very hard to explain because there's so much detail. I have asked our CTO, the creator of the ClickHouse, mm. He just sent me a video, so I watched uh, for an hour. So this is my summary. Basically, ClayHouse is column-oriented storage, so doing some aggregation, so it's fast. So like the animation here, you can you 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 need to scan all the rows. You if you even you do not need the column, you you have to read it in some row-oriented database. But in column-oriented database, it's not that. You just focus on your column needed. And also data compression, yeah. ClickHouse is very, very good at data compression. And we also optimize a lot of the data compression libs, like the LZ4. We have created our own version of LZ4. So there are some articles about that. You can search and read it. It's pretty low level. And uh, of course, our is vector query execution. And um, but we do far more like uh, any any other database did. Mm, there is some background. Uh, what is vector vectorized query execution? There's something some instructions like, like AVX or AVX two or AVX five one two. Yeah. It, there's a pretty much vector function on some modern CPU like uh, whatever Intel or AMD. Is. But uh, in, even we have the latest ARVM compiler to compile your your C C++ code. Most uh, vectorized execution will be not applied. So it's it's it's, it's always that even for the latest uh, version. So. We just combine a lot of some lot of things like GIT or vector query execution and create something like a dynamic dispatch, um, like something like that. We just uh, compile circle into some native CPU instructions. So uh, every circle you just send to ClickHouse Engine. We run to like some program um, and optimize a lot, but. Uh, we have to do the runtime CPU spec check, and uh, we will find what you what your CPU supported, and we will dispatch all the function to some very specialized function, like AVX, AVX2, lot of lot of things like that. So it's super fast. We will ClickHouse just something like running like a compiler, 
and uh, run to adopt uh, and decide what is the best fit for your CPU. Mm, so mm, with all the things we did, so and a lot of lot of more, I can't explain it in here. Mm. If I do, if I did that, there there will be a C plus plus one one classroom, and uh, you will stay here for ten years. So basically, there's not real something like the silver bullet to make it fast. So we did it uh, for fifteen years and keep benchmark. Every release, every CI pipeline, we will benchmark it. If anything gets slower or, or unexpected, we will fix that. So it's, all, it's about a one million lines of C++ code. Hmm. So there's also a URL, you can check the detail if you are interested, I guess not. Hmm. So there's a recap. So CHDB, what you can do with CHDB, basically something like a pure pure performance. If you have some big data and you want to create some app on it, you can use CHDB. You, you do not need to maintain your server or database or, database or something like that. And also, uh, as we do not need the, the client and the server and the call, call, call and send the request to the server and send the response back. We did not to do something like a serial, serialize or deserialize, so it will be very fast. Yeah, I, I think a um, uh, crazy guess, yeah. Maybe 10% of the world electricity are costed by the deserialization and serialization, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Like, uh, yeah, different language. Mm. And the seamless integration. So mm, as, we, as it's click house, we have developed, de developed it for 15 years. There's a lot of requests asking uh, add this function. We need that function. We need that function. So we, we have been keeping adding all, all kinds of functions for 15 years. So basically, you can find any function you want. Mm. Mm. So let's save the earth. Mm. With Clayhouse, I think uh, you can reduce some consumption. Like I said before, you can run it uh, on some Lambda function. When there's a query, you write. When the query is done, pew. So Clayhouse is a real-time analytics database. So so it's CHDB. CHDB. Clayhouse is CHDB father. Mm, so you can query all, all, all the all kinds of data here are the remote, or you can you can even connect to a cloud server, so you can put a, some real heavy computing to the ClickHouse cloud, you will do that. You can just fetch the result and join them with other data. So super fast, and uh, you can create some prototype with CHDB. So like uh, you, you, you want to doing some, uh, create some, machining model, so you have to prepare some data. Uh, but he, yeah, you can have to do it on your laptop. It's small data, but uh, when it gets large, you have to modify all your code circle and put it online with some big cluster. But with CHDB, yeah, CHDB shares the same circle delicate with Clayhouse Cloud, so you did not to modify your, your app to adopt the production environment. So it will be quick. Mm, yeah, you can just try. There is some link and also a QR code link to our uh, documentation and uh, all, all the links here. Mm, yeah. Mm, I guess pretty much, yeah, that's all from me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your talk. Um, yes, we have still five minutes for the questions. Um, does anyone have any? Uh, thank you. I'd like to ask, uh, what's the difference to DECDB? Yeah, I have been asking, uh, answering this question for several days. What's the <laughs> difference, yeah. Basically, DECDB and CHDB is a real some competitor, but uh, um, we, we have doing a lot of benchmark with CHDB and DECDB. 
the performance, frankly speaking, performance dark DBNC to pretty close. It's not a human can feel it in most circumstances. But uh, we have a lot of lot more data type or data source support. Mm, I think that's the main advantage. And uh, also, uh, we are on the same situation, but we come to the embedded database from different way. Clearhouse from the large cluster, big database, production, and uh, tested uh, for decades, and come to the embedded from big to small. But that DB is something like uh, from small to that DB cloud or something, from small to big. This is a different uh, way to the embedded function. So yeah, I think this is pretty much the difference. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And maybe one more question about the memory. So so when I run out of memory, in, uh, I mean the RAM memory, uh, mm. Can CDB work like, or can you can it use disk memory, or mm. yeah, yeah? I have I've been asking uh, answering this question for two times, and uh, uh, basically in modern database something like uh, testing down production is always creating some pipeline and run it uh, in some pipeline. This means uh, if the data is bigger than your memory, we do not need to load the whole data into memory and process it. This is the pandas way. We do not do that. Basically, we are doing something like uh, fetch some blocks and process it and uh, merge the block and put the result and uh, put it, read it, uh, do it as a pipeline. If you have much memory, this will be quick. But uh, if you do not have too much memory, it, uh, it's also okay. We just uh, put some recent block, and uh, it's also it's something like a pipeline. We do not need uh, the your data feed the memory. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot for the talk. Um, I wanted to ask if you query Postgres or MySQL, is it just some kind of uh, translation of the SQL query, or are there further optimizations in the processing? Yeah. Frankly speaking, um, we treat progress uh, as a table. So just uh, we will create some circle to progress, just select the necessary columns to Clayhouse engine and process it. So we have to we haven't do some too much push down filtering. So it's pretty much we just uh, let progress as as a something like data source and uh, also uh, query pull the data from block, block to block, so pretty much like this. But uh, yeah, as it's pipeline, so every single data is processed when it selects from Postgres, so we do not wait for all, whole all the data and uh, process it. it uh, I didn't test it. It might be faster than Postgres itself, but whatever, who knows. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you use SQL magic in Jupyter Notebooks for CHDB? Mm, you mean run on notebook? Yeah, so if I run on a notebook, that's like a percent SQL, SQL magic. Can yeah. I use this with CHDB as well? Yeah. Mm, we have optimizing a lot on running, running CHDB on, on notebook. This is from some notebook, so yeah. So yeah. That's clear. I, I meant uh, like the, the the magic SQL percent SQL in a cell where I can just yeah we we support it. Um, okay, cool. I remember we have some integration um, label like some something like uh, named Plumber. Yeah, we can support some uh, the, the magic uh, character in notebook with Plumbers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your questions and thank you a lot for your talk, Oxton.